YouTube channel. Thank you so much for coming and watching. So I have a video for you lovely people today and it's on this crazy look. It's a challenge that is going around YouTube and everybody's been doing it so I thought I should do it too and I did have a few people request it so thank you so much and yeah so I did it and it was really fun and thank you to everybody I watched Nikki tutorials was the first one I ever watched um, I just saw Nikki tutorials do it and then loads of girls I follow started doing it so I thought I gotta do that challenge so um, this is the look I created and if you want to find out how I did create it and the products I used keep watching and thank you so much and please don't forget to subscribe and also thumbs up so here we go okay let's get started so my brows are already done my eyes are just primed a little bit just so that you know everything sticks really well I think I'm gonna start with my face I'm gonna start with the Pro Studio strobe cream from Freedom now I find this has very little strobing to it. I find it's a great moisturizer and it gives you a little bit of a radiance, but it's not too much. So I think I'm going to put this on next because I want to get this real highlight. I'm going all out here. I'm going to put the Makeup Revolutions Ultra Strobe Cream. Um, it just looks like this. Now this has like a golden glow to it. So I'm actually going to put this all over my face. I normally do not do that because this really gives a gives your face a glow <laughs> but that's what this is about so usually I just put this on the high points but the face kind of have prepped and primed some of this Avon natural effects uh, it's a radiance tinted moisturizer just so I'm not like uber uber pale it's it's a radiance tinted moisturizer so it only is going to give me like a tiny, tiny little bit of coverage. So I'm kind of using this like as a moisture or as a foundation. And it's just going to give me a little bit of coverage. Okay, so that's the face so far. It looks really crazy. I am going to apply this. Now this is the Wet n Wild's Color Icon bronzing thing, but it's not a bronzer. It's completely a highlighter. It's called Reserve Your Cabana. It looks like this. I'm going to use this as powder all over my face. Whoops. I want to actually put this on. It's the Wow 3 um, I tried to avoid this area with the powder as much as I could, but I want to actually put a little bit of this on, like right where I'm going to highlight, so, yeah, I don't know, hopefully this works, and then I can add the powder after on there, I'm going to put a little on my nose, keep it bow. little on my chin. I just want to blend that a bit. Little bit here. Okay, I think that's all for liquids, I think, at the moment. I'm just gonna wipe that down on my neck a little bit. And my under my eyes, kind of as my concealer, I'm gonna use the e.l.f. High Definition Under Eye Setting Powder. And this is very, very shimmery and glowy. But it's just to, that's how I set my under eyes a lot of times, so. Woo! Um, I think I'm gonna do my bronzer now on my cheeks. My blank canvas F04 brush. And I'm just gonna take this from Makeup Revolution. It's their Shimmer Brick in Radiance. And I'm just gonna use these bottom like two colors the best I can. And mix those. Tap off. Okay. Whoa. <gasps> oh no. It's super, super pigmented, and I definitely grabbed way too much, and I forgot how pigmented it was. 
and is like just sticking right to the to my face because of all the highlighter <laughs> it's just like whoa I forgot how pigmented this was oh jeekers that added some life to my face for sure now I gotta do blush and I'm gonna go in with this brush again this is the elf stippling small stippling brush and I'm gonna do pink rose for a blush this is one of their elf baked blushes and I'm just gonna apply this to the cheeks this is definitely like really really shimmery pretty I don't know exactly if this is gonna be too bronzy it's definitely adding glow oh my gosh my skin looks crazy so highlight highlighted okay so I just added a bit of that now I want to add do my eyes I'm gonna do my eyes before I do my highlighter I like real highlighting at the end so I'm gonna take my favorite eyeshadow brush which is my e40 e41 from blank canvas use the e41 just a lovely and I'm gonna go into the crease with this palette again I think yeah and I'm gonna take this kind of color here second from the bottom and just go straight into that tap off excess go right into the crease okay give some definition I'm gonna go and take this third one from the top here this one right here hopefully you can see that the camera is just like whoa glow everywhere doesn't want to doesn't want to focus And I'm just blending this into my crease. I'm going to go in with the darkest one on the bottom and just put that quite just in the crease and only about three, mm, halfway. Just to make the outside a little dark, darker than the rest. You know, doing kind of the V shape, blending, blending. Okay, so now I want to take that white, uh, I mean this pinky kind of color first, sorry, it's like a, yeah, I don't know, like a light pinkish kind of color, and just put this on the lid, but then I want to lighten it a bit with that white, so I'm kind of mixing them together on the lid. Okay, and then just blend them a little bit. <laughs> this is crazy using highlighters on the eyes. So that white again, I want to take it under my brow bone. Just use this big fluffy brush, and I'm going to apply this just right over top of this. And I think I'm going to use this pinkish kind of color right here because I have a lot of gold in a lot of places. So, and we want that to really stand out. This is where we normally highlight. Woo, can you see that? Oh my goodness, I hope my camera is picking up. It's not a sunny day, sorry, but oh my goodness, my face is so... So shiny. <laughs> a little bit of this Makeup Gallery liquid eyeliner just along the base of my eye. So I applied this eyeliner to my eye. It's not very good eyeliner, to be honest with you. I've been avoiding it. Like, I can't seem to get great application. Not great. So this Makeup Gallery Chick Flick Eyeliner in Silver Glitz, number five. Yeah, I don't really get that because it's not very good. Next, I'm going to apply just a bit of mascara. So 
So I added mascara to the top and bottom lashes. Look at my skin, how glowy it is. It's so cool. My lips, so I'm gonna use Makeup Revolution's Diamond Life, like all over my lips. So I'm going to apply a little bit of my Solstice palette, the gold kind of color to my lips, the highlight color. And lastly, I'm going to spray my face with the Freedoms Pro Studio Priming Water because this gives you a glow if you wear it over as well. So that is the finished look. Look, <laughs> thank you so much for watching. This was so fun putting highlighter everywhere and like glowy, glittery things everywhere all over my face. Um, it does look like I'm kind of sweaty, especially more in person than I feel like maybe the camera's um, picking up, but um, hopefully it looks like a nice glow. Uh, this is was a crazy challenge. I loved it. It was so fun. And yes, thank you so much for watching. If you like challenge kind of videos or things like this, please thumbs up. Also leave requests for any types of videos you have down below, and hopefully I can do those for you guys. And yeah, thank you so much for watching again. Please remember to subscribe. Try to get me to 2,000. Thank you so much, guys. Take care. Until next time. Bye.